Hey everybody, welcome back. Another more about review. Looks like we're on Gibraltar. PC game, I think. Yeah, PC game. It's Platinum 3. Uh, player gave quite a bit of context. It looks like uh, they just really weren't sure what was going wrong, which just happens a lot. That's that's normal, especially once, once you kind of find you're at the top of, of the like your skill set. Uh, it, it feels like you can just be kind of lost, so I, I definitely know that feeling. Um, getting tunnel visioning a little bit. Uh, played a few hundred hours since Overwatch 2 came out. Can't seem to break out of plat. Get really close, end up sinking back down to mid plant. Do have trouble tracking ults. Uh, I feel like a good set of tips for basics. I should practice or bad habits. Need to break would help. Be honest. Uh, take advice openly. I really want to reach GM or even top 500. Um, I think a big part of me not improving is not knowing exactly where to start. Uh, I, I know exactly how this happened. I, I just had somebody coach me on, on playing Roadhog, right? Because I, it's like I was, I felt like I was doing the right things, but then like st I still wasn't being very successful sometimes. So it's like, okay, something else is going on. All right, I wanted to go back to this. This is a little bit of map specific tech. Um, if you can get up here faster, I like to fade over to this right here. And then at about four seconds on the countdown, I shoot a damage orb at the floor and it bounces up and down here. And as soon as the door opens, they're going to run into it. And then it's that closer, that much closer to having your damage orb. And I also don't like sitting over here because we don't know what they have. Right. And especially like since they have a doom fist, if they fly out of here and come in and pressure you and then you go over here it's going to be hard for you to live if somebody else chases you because especially on this map it's very you see dive a lot and as you rank up you're going to see it more and more right because it's a very dive friendly map so you have to be careful about your positioning up here i like that you're up here we just have to be very careful about this looks like somebody hasn't okay so it looks like somebody Right, because your, your Kiriko could get out pretty easily. You, you know, are kind of limited with your the range of your fade. Yeah. Right. Stupid. That was a stupid death on your Kiriko's part. So, right, if especially since you kind of screwed up that fade and hit the wall here, it was in a higher rank, you can die pretty quickly doing that. Okay, I wouldn't drop down here. Uh, one thing I will say is don't chase very mobile tanks. Okay, Doomfist. Wrecking Ball, D.Va, like the tanks, the tanks that can get around really, really quickly, Winston, don't don't chase them because they're just going to get away from you because they know that they're they're going to do that. OK, what I would have rather seen you do is stay up here, at least for the, the moment. And put some pressure here because these three are going to be the people I pick on most likely. Right, because I'm probably going to avoid the Doom as much as I can. The Genji, eh, you could pick on him, but I feel like you can get much better value out of picking on three people here than trying to go after the Genji. And you will also find that in higher ranks, Genjis, you aren't the Genji counter that everybody thinks you are, right? Yeah, you don't have to aim, but wait until you go up against a Genji who can aim, right? And then he deletes you in half a second. Okay, so... uh be careful around Genjis. High rank Genjis, anyway. All right, so here, I'm going to stay, like, right about here, okay? And then I'm going to shoot a damage orb right there. So it bounces there, goes down directly into the team, right? Because neither of these people are near cover. You can put a lot of pressure on them, and neither of them are mobile, right? So Anna Zen, when I'm playing tank, sucks, because these are like really good against tanks, but they also have no mobility. So if you can get a DPS or support that goes and pressures them, uh, you can get a lot of value out of that. And this is one of the reasons like why Anna isn't very strong right now overall, even though she still gets picked like 90% of the time or whatever stupidity it is. Um, I, I'm bitter against, I'm bitter that that character exists. So. All right. Yeah, so we ended up, we're a little bit far forward. We could get pressured here pretty quickly and and then find ourselves dead. 
Okay. But, I mean, they're not pushing you now. Okay. That's That was good. And this works. This works. You now we gotta be careful. Now we're getting greedy. Okay, we, got, we gotta be careful about getting greedy with kills. Um, the stuff that's working here is not gonna work in a higher rank. So that's why I'm, I'm a little worried about some of the things that we're doing. Because if this was a higher rank. Um, and it... Here's the thing. If I was in this game, I'd probably be doing some of the same things that you are. Because I know I can get away with them. I, I just want to make sure we're not developing some bad habits here. Since you are on PC, it's a lot easier for you to shoot orbs at the floor. Um, when you're in an enclosed space like this, get used to shooting an orb right at the floor or at the ceiling. Whatever's easier for you to do faster. Um, and then it bounces up and down right on top of you. Okay. And then if, if you have any teammates in there as well, uh, it, it'll heal them. And it kind of sets up like a little healing station for you guys. What happened there? We like lag out or something. I feel like... Yeah, something funky happened there. Alright. Could have faded out of there. So, we knew our Doom was up there. I would have been expecting him to touch there. So I would have stayed relatively close by, but not gone in until he actually touched. But we got too far away, which made it so we couldn't we couldn't go in there and contest with him. Um. So you can fade jump right now and get up there. So if... If you're going to, you know, I mean, if your goal is getting into the, the highest ranks, you, you need to learn how to do that. And we need to get off the low ground. And we're standing. Look look where we are. Right. We couldn't be further from cover right now. Okay. And, and so we have to keep that in mind. Okay. Right. We don't know where everybody is right now. Because are you really in danger right now? No. But we, we've been doing this quite a bit. And this really highlights something that you probably get punished for quite a bit. And maybe it didn't happen as much in this game. Or maybe it will happen a little bit later. Uh, but we can't do this. We need to be near cover all the time. So, this is a perfect example. Because we weren't using cover, we had to fade when he came out of his ultimate, and then he killed us. Okay. So, if the Doomfist is... Because we were out here, we had to basically wait till he landed to use fade. But if we were closer to cover, you can dance around it. So, say we were right here instead, okay, and he goes to land here, you can literally just walk around this corner. And then, when he tries to push you, then you can use fade, right? Because right now you're a free kill. Because all he's got to do, he knows you're going to fade out of out of where he lands. And then all he's got to do is just punch you. That's it. Okay, And it only gets worse from here. Especially playing against Doomfists. Because a lot of the guys that play Doomfist, guys, a lot of the people that play Doomfist, um, especially at the higher ranks, they play him a lot. So they know a lot of the tech. Right? Because he's a very like tech, technically advanced hero to play you got to know a lot of like specific little tech things um so they know they can do that so we got to be careful about getting punched here oh no the doom's dead all right that's good so since you had players on here i would have gone a little bit more aggressive with chasing this kill uh, but don't get greedy don't get greedy and die here okay This is good. You, you you went as far as you could before it got dangerous, and then you backed up. So that was fine. Right? Because especially a, a higher-ranked Anna, can, she can kill you. Yeah, I feel like we're a little far ahead here. Yeah, we're going to get punished. Okay. So we didn't, we didn't back up in time, uh, and then we kind of got in the Doom. Once the Doom and Gen Genji started moving towards us, we needed to get out of there. Because both of them are extremely mobile. All they have to do is shoot you until you 
they force out your fade and then just dash or punch to you and you, and you die, right? Both of them can do that. That was a good distraction. All right, so he ults in your face because he knows he, he knows you don't have fade. And yeah, was it a lot just to kill you? But who gives a shit? They captured the point, right? And it's not like you guys have a bunch more ults than they do. You actually have fewer ults than they do. Right, so, uh, you know, it's funny because I'm not saying you're doing this, but I'll see this in games a lot. People are like, oh, you solo ulted me or whatever. Like, Goddamn right I solo ulted you. I'll do it every time. Yeah. It's like people are afraid of winning. It, it's There seems to be some lag going on. It's, okay. But yeah, it's like... Uh, it, it really is just they're mad that they died, but... Um, People, a lot of people, especially in lower ranks, think that ultimates are supposed to be, like, five-man kills every single time. That's just not the case. You see how we're, we're, we're out in the open a lot. We're crossing a, we're crossing between this open area, and, like, look look where we're standing. Look, who is between us and the en entire enemy team right now? Nobody. Right? You never want to be in this position. Okay? These players just aren't coordinated enough to kill you. But higher rank players are. They'll just you'll just delete. You'll just get deleted. Okay. And now we fade to the open area. A higher rank player is going to call that out. We're going to fade, and then you die. This ult felt kind of sloppy uh, because. We were really low. All they had to do, all the Ash had to do was hit one more shot, and then you die there. And then we're also in the enemy Doom space. Who can just punch you out of it? Right, he, I, I, honestly, you probably should have gotten punched even there. But it's because he hit somebody else first, right? So... When you're gonna use your ultimate one, don't don't like panic use it, especially when you're in front of somebody who can spike you down. And then two, uh, if there's somebody who can stun you out of it, you need to be using it near cover, so you can duck behind the cover. Okay. Uh, so we we definitely got punished a lot for our bad positioning. Um, I feel like that's probably what's hurting us the most right now is that we are in the open a lot and we get punished for it. Uh, we don't even get it punished for it as much as we should have. And as you rank up, you're going to get punished a lot more for it. So I need to see more more cover usage. And then when you use your fade, you need to be getting out of danger. That doesn't mean out of the fight. It just means out of the danger. So fade to somewhere where just nobody can look at you. It doesn't mean fading to Narnia. Just around a corner or behind an object or something. Right? A lot of times I'll see what they have, and, and sometimes I'll actually fade over to that bridge, um, especially like right now. I would let my Doom do it first, and then he jumps, and then I fade, and then I shoot a damage orb in there. And you can kind of dive with your Doom. I, I don't recommend doing that all the time. What are we doing? Yeah, well, we're not, now we're doing nothing. I So whatever, whatever this is, don't do this. Um, Shoot a damage orb in there. By the time he cycles through his cooldowns, like the power punch or whatever, the power block or whatever it's called, um, you should ha you'll have your fade back. And you can also drop off the bridge if you need to, and just stall a little bit until you get um, until you get your cooldown back. Look, look where we are. Look where you are compared to everybody else. Right? He's in a dumb spot. Because he can do the same thing from literally right here. He can do exactly what he's doing, right? And then he can just do this, okay? These people are holding cover. He's out in the middle of the open, which isn't life-threatening to him, but he still shouldn't be doing that. He should be closer to cover. But you are... You have nowhere to go. Absolutely nowhere to go if somebody pressures you. And then when they do pressure you and you use your fade, they're just going to follow you and kill you. Right, and the the higher you rank up, the faster that's going to happen. Okay. Just 
we don't need to see this many people. I like what you're doing, but you need to you need to stay closer to the cover. Oh, she got back up. Uh, you need to stay closer to the cover, and only you know only be looking at the one person you're trying to damage. Right? You don't want to be seen by everybody. The more people that can see you, the more people that can shoot you. We were kind of slow to react to that, too. And, and I also feel like we could have... I, I almost never shoot healing orbs at very mobile tanks. I, I've, I've said that if you've watched any of my other reviews, especially if there's like a wrecking ball. I, I, I don't shoot orbs at them. I would, have, I would have rather seen you shoot a damage orb at the enemy team than use this healing orb. Because the support path, passive, you're going to heal up very quickly on your own. You hadn't taken very much damage. So whatever this is needs to stop. I, I don't know what we're doing here. I don't know if we're typing at our team or whatever. But this is... You can't do this in a ranked game. I like this looking because we know the ash is over here. We can hear her. We can put some pressure on her. Now, again, we don't need to walk all the way around the corner. The Bob's still there. All we got to do is because we know she's there and we're here. Okay. We'll just shoot a damage orb right there. And it goes this way and it goes into her. And then it forces her to come into you, right, where you are still in cover and that gives you the advantage. Us walking out here is a disadvantage. This is a, this is a bad matchup. Oops. Because... Uh, a high ranked Ash is just gonna she's just gonna kill you. Cause she's gonna hit her shot, she's just gonna hip fire you, like what this Ash is doing, but they're actually gonna not miss. And it's not to say high ranked players are perfect, it's not like they have hundred percent accuracy, but you do shit like that, their accuracy is gonna be pretty high. Okay. So we have to make much better use of our cover. Okay, so we're in the Kitsune Rush. You need to be firing orbs on uh, on cooldown. Right, off cooldown. It's like, especially, we know this Widow's up here. I'm shooting one up here, for sure. 100% I'm shooting one up into there. Okay, and I'm, and I'm staying near cover. There's no reason for you to, once again, be where you are. Okay, so that's, that. this is like, I, I guarantee most of the games that you've lost recently are because of this. Because they're, your doom is pushing pushing them up there, but you need to you need to add that pressure. She like fucked up her bash there. That was good. It was a good ult. Um, how did she screw up the bash though? Oh, she's just too far away. That was close. You you need to maintain your distance a little bit better. Coalescence is a really really long range. Okay, so you can back yourself up as far away from the enemy team as possible and still do damage to them. Because the farther away you are, the easier it is for you to hit them and the harder it is for them to hit you. Okay. Especially with like sleep or, uh, you know, different kinds of stuns and things like that. Like her shield bash, right? She just barely missed you. Right? But if we would have maintained our distance a little better, better it never would have been close. Uh, I just said this in a recent review. Um, you need to track for tracking ultimates. Uh, I guess I haven't talked about that at all. But to get us started, her ultimate is 15 seconds. And on matches like maps like this, where it's just a timer, right, you can just take note about when she casts it. Right? It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so it's at 304, right? So it should it should disappear at about 30 or 318 or 319, right? Because the, the timing's not exactly perfect. So now you know that. Now you, you know, okay, she's tracking me through the wall at least until then. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. It's not counting up. It's counting down. Um, so that was like 248, right? Or something like that. But again, we're standing out in the open. Yeah, we're around the corner from the other team, but we're standing out in the open. We're not near any cover, right? And we get punished for it. That was close. Okay, you can fade over there. All right, I would have done that. Yeah, I wouldn't have done this. 
As soon as I have my fade, I I want to go up here and take this. I because I I don't want you on the low ground, uh, because your your Kirko can heal him from where she is. Okay, I I want to control the high ground as much as possible, especially on this map. Okay? That doesn't mean be super far away from your team. If you're on the high ground like all by yourself and you find you're not getting value, then you you need to find something else because that will happen sometimes. Because it feels like. Uh, you know, it's not even until, like, Masters till people really discover high ground. Um, you know, go go watch a silver version of this. And, and it, it's almost like the high ground doesn't exist. Okay. And so for anybody that's in a lower rank, especially, like, gold and below, uh, it, or if you go watch some of the games where I play in gold, and you see I'm just on the high ground, just damaging them non-stop and then they just die you know it's not like i'm doing more damage you know moira does a consistent damage or my aim is better because you don't need to aim moira right it's it's just because i'm taking advantage of the positioning so we're standing in the open again right just look how much we're standing in the open so when, when you go to watch your own replays do do it from a bird's eye view and then just like see how 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 much out in the open you are Right, compared to everybody else. And look, look how many people are standing out in the open, right? You can take advantage of this, but you're also victim to this. Okay. Uh, this is a pretty long match, and we're at 22 minutes already. So I, it looks like we'll, we'll probably cap here, and then uh, we'll, we'll call it good on this one. Uh, because what our weaknesses are, are pretty apparent, which is good, right? It would suck if I watched this and was like, oh, nothing's wrong. Uh, I don't know how you lost, and I don't know what to do, right? So th this is good. It's, it's good to find this stuff. Um, but big picture is you, you absolutely have to use cover more often. You have to use your fade to get out of danger. Not necessarily ex exit the fight, but get out of danger. Use our corners. Don't use fade as a crutch for why you're standing out in the open. Okay. And then the, the, that's your major thing. I want you to like think about nothing else until we've worked on that for weeks. Right. But that said, I will tell you, right, our cooldown usage needs to be better overall in terms of, like, our orbs. Shoot the correct orb. Shoot it. Don't use the map geometry to bounce it off of stuff. So, like, when you were contesting that ash, when you just ran into her face, you didn't have to do that, right? Look for those situations where you can use the map geometry to shoot an orb around a corner, right, and take advantage of that, right? Whereas Ash can't really shoot around corners. She can use her dynamite, right? But that would be kind of a waste, especially against the Moira, okay? So that... Work on that. I guess you can kind of work on that in parallel, uh, but 100% we got to work on our positioning, okay? And then um, part of that positioning and not standing out in the open is when you use your ultimate, you need to maximize the distance between you and the enemy team, and that makes it less likely for you to get stunned or killed or anything like that, okay? Um, so work on those things, and, and you're going to keep climbing, and then you know we'll, we'll find out the little nuances uh, Oh, once you get your, to your next rank, and we'll go from there. So, all right. Well, that'll about do it for this one. I hope it helps, and good luck.